Hi everyone. So today I'm getting a little bit crafty. I've got three skeins of this really thick, um, uh, what do you call it? Chanel like yarn. And I got it at Hobby Lobby and it was $6.99. Sometimes, a lot of times they do have sales for like 40% off or 50. So I did see one tutorial on it. I think it's fairly easy. If anybody knows me, I am an amateur at a lot of things, but professional at nothing. <laughs> so first thing is just going to tie a knot. at the base of whatever color you're going to use. I have two gray and one white. It's not going to be a big blanket. It's just going to be a throw. So it's got a loop about this big. All right, and then you're just going to slip knot, okay, slip knot through another hole the same size. And I'm just going to do that the whole way through. So it's going to make a chain and I'm just going to do this the whole way of the width that I would like it to be. And when I have that width done, I'll bring you back and show you how I'm going to start the second row. Hope everybody's having a great Monday so far. All right, I'll bring you back. And another thing, guys, you're going to want to keep it fairly even and taut. Pull it a little bit tight or else you're going to have a big old chain link <laughs> in your, a big gap in your link. So I'm going to take that all back out to that point and uh, get that one a little bit tighter. So, yeah, it's really simple if you just keep pulling it through with your two fingers and your thumb. That one might have been a little loose too. You can feel if it's slouchy. Get back in there and tighten it up. And then it'll do better for you. I mean, unless you want it to be really bulky and um, loose. But I run a tight ship here. <laughs> Okay guys, I just took out a whole row because it was too long. You'll run out of yarn real quick. And so I'm doing another technique now for the second row. I am going, okay, through the loop that's already in the line here. I'm taking the yarn strand and going through that loop and pulling it through the loop that I already was hanging on to. So, taking this, going through the loop and bringing it through the other strand, through the loop, through the other strand, Sorry, I'll do it again. Through the loop, pull it through the other strand, through the loop, through the other strand, loop, strand, loop, So you get the idea. I wish I could get this off of my face. <laughs> How about this? <laughs> okay. So it's going to be
easier when you're just pulling it through two of the holes. All right, so it's getting chunkier. So I'm gonna keep going with the gray and bring you back when I'm done with the gray. So that whole skein only got me about this much, maybe like six inches wide and um, oh, maybe about two and a half feet long. So I'm going to tie, it just gave me this much to work with. So I'm gonna tie the next color, this creamy color and um, Actually, before I make that loop, I'm going to tie it off here. So, trying to think which way would be best. I'm going to do it this way as you're tying your shoes. And then I'll just cut whatever else is sticking out, which it should. I heard it gets hidden pretty well within the Okay, that's pretty tight. So, moving on with the loop, the loop. I'm glad I'm almost towards the end because that uh, looked a little strange to me if it started in the middle. And there I am right up in front of my face again. <laughs> Why? Let me move it over this way. Okay. It's really easier when you're just doing it like on your lap. You can just push through and pull through, push and pull, push through and pull. Sorry, this isn't very good. I should have had it, I guess, down on the flat surface, but. I didn't want to. <laughs> Plus we're playing Monopoly on our card table, my daughter and I. So she wants to leave it up till the next time she comes over. So no puzzles this week. I was going to start some puzzles since it's cooling off. But that's okay. I'm glad she's close and we can play. I'm going to beat her anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no mercy. We gotta toughen this generation up. You can't be letting your kids win. Show them who's boss. <laughs> okay, so you get the drift, and then I'm gonna just work this until I get all done with the cream. Look, mother, you're wearing off of me grain cream. I'll be back. One other thing. When you get to the end and you have a loop, take your um, the strand that's coming on and just pull one extra loop through before you start flipping over the next row and pulling through. You learn as you go. <laughs> Don't worry, it's for me. I'm not giving it as a gift unless the Lord tells me to. But um, that's just how it goes. And look at this cream color. Reminds me of vanilla ice cream. <laughs> Mine's always on food. All right, so I'll just finish this up and I'll bring you back. Okay guys, so I'm done and it's not pretty, but let me tell you what, it is warm because I was sweating with it just being on my lap and I might go back and get two more strands of gray just to make it a little bit longer, but this is the length of it. <laughs> Look, it's not even, I started out good, this was the beginning, <laughs> something went wrong, but uh, I might take it out and do it all over again. So this is a challenge for you to do a better chunky Chanel throw than I can. <laughs> but it's, 
you know, works its purpose. It's very warm. Hey, maybe it could be like a show. <laughs> so there you go, guys. Uh, you might want to watch your own tutorial. Dana, Decorate with Dana is the one that I watched before she has it. So um, you might want to go over there and check her out. But, yeah, see something? I don't know. Oh, yeah, that has it on that side. I think I just flipped it around too much and wasn't as consistent. But we'll see if I redo or not. So there you go, guys. Have a great day. And if it ain't pretty and sees the purpose, still do it. <laughs> so... Have a good day, guys. Guys, of course I went back in and pulled everything out down to the first gray lines. And it's much more even now. Make sure that you go all the way to the ends and you make that extra loop and then you make sure that you start on the next hole and you hit each hole. So, it's a lot more even now and um, like I said I may go back and get two more skeins because it is quite small but that isn't enough for like a lap blanket and uh, it's much better now but uh, that's it and you know, for 40% off each skein at seven bucks, 21, so two, four, ten, 20, you know, that's about a $17 little throw. Well, if I go back and get two more, <laughs> it might be a little more. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching and hopefully get some inspiration to do some fall, winter kind of cold weather stuff to keep your hands busy and mind busy. So take care guys. Love y'all. God bless. Bye.